Hello, Faisal. Welcome to our show. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Faisal. You know, I'm doing amazing. I think this is an amazing show. Uh, this is my actually first time, even though I'm a charter member of Open, but usually traveling for business, so enjoying it thoroughly. Great, great to know that. Yeah. I would like to understand from you, how is uh, AI and this recent advent of generative AI going to impact the automotive industry? I think uh, in general automotive, it's definitely going to have uh, uh, overall impact on productivity, efficiency, um, you know, creating more opportunities, consumer behaviors, data collection, and then reacting to that da data connection, you know, what the consumer wants. Uh, what are the features that need to go in the car? You know, how can the transactions happen in the car itself, right? Because AI would definitely bring that companionship. You know, uh, the car basically becomes your personal assistant. And at, the, at that, on, also a scientist that can actually, you know, do some analysis for you while you're driving. So I think that those are some great opportunities. And I think it is going to, and EVs are, I think, are going to be the more adoptable to this because you know, what is already built into the infrastructure, the framework of an electric vehicle. Cool. Uh, Faisal, uh, I'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs and innovators are listening to you right now through our channel. Uh, are there any gaps or opportunities in automotive ecosystem which are unsolved and which are opportunities for new entrepreneurs and innovators? So I think the disruption that is really happening right now is, you know, the transformation from internal combustion engines to uh, electric vehicles, and the whole world is moving towards that. And by 2030, you're gonna have 50% of the uh, new car sales globally uh, estimated to be you know, electric vehicles. So I think, as I said, electric vehicles definitely will have a lot of opportunities because the car is not, not um, just a car. It's not a mode of transportation. I have to look at it as a business opportunity. And when I say that, you have energy stored in a car, that you probably don't utilize, you know, you're only utilizing 10, 15% of it, that energy actually gives you a business relationship. Just like at home, you have solar panels, you take the energy and then you sell it back to uh, the grid, the PG&E or, or, you know, wherever you are in which state. That is actually going to exist with the car, right? So, and, and think of it as selling is back to the grid from the car eventually because it's a, it's a storage, energy storage system on wheels, you are the transport here, transporter of the energy from one point to the other. You could be sitting in a cafe and you could be having a lunch and the lunch is actually paid by your car because it's hooked and supplying back the energy to the grid or to another car, vehicle to vehicle. Uh, so definitely a lot of opportunities like that, e-commerce, app-based solutions um, that are definitely going to be available and AI will definitely give you even the way you're driving and while you're driving, you're working. And then while you're working, you're making money at the same time. So it's like a home office. The car becomes a home office for you. Thank you very much, Thank you so much. for joining us. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you.